Okay, today we're looking at corn, the May contract. Solar degrees, you might wonder what is solar degrees? Well, there's 360 solar degrees in a year. There's 365 days in a year. So sometimes they can be slightly different. You know, maybe in this case, it's pretty close to the same. 180, solar, 180 days is 179.7 solar degrees. But if you do the math, you figure out sometimes it can be 182 uh, calendar days equals 180 solar degrees. So it has to work out over the course of a year. But nevertheless, here we go. From this low, August 12th, to the high, February 8th, is about half a year, or 180 uh, calendar days, 179.7 solar degrees. So the idea here is this is a cycle. GAM believed that time, uh, when the market is fully developed in time, it's going to change trend. So a big cycle for GAN was 180 days or 180 solar degrees. And sometimes it responds to one, sometimes it responds to the other. But in this case, they're both pretty much the same. All the more reason for this thing to go down. Now we are rallying today and you might say, well, oh, you know, maybe it's not working. Well, there's more to the story. You can't just an analyze the market based on time. You also have to look at price. So in this case, 50% retracement, if you take this large swing from this high, August 10th, 2012, to this low, August 14th, 2020, uh, you note that halfway between the two is, uh, we call it the 50% retracement, 575. And guess what? The market rallied directly to this level, formed a high, in sync with the 180 solar degree count. So low to high, 180 solar degrees in time, as it was meeting resistance at the 50% retracement in price, 575. Great, that's what we look for, time and price. When time and price come together, when they're in balance, you get a change in trend. Does it work every time? No, sometimes you could see it just hesitate and blow right through this. But at the very least, you know where your stop loss would be. It'd be slightly above 575. If it gets above that, you know you're wrong. It's going to continue. If it breaks down from here and you're short, wow, you made some money. Or better yet, if you're not interested to buy right now, you don't want to short, you wait for a pullback, and then you buy for a big move up. Either way, you're going to have a trade. When you see time and price come together, and it doesn't matter, we're looking at corn today, it could be any market, GAN principles work on all markets, stocks, bonds, forex, commodities, even crypto. It works on all markets. So the concept here, uh, 180 solar degrees and half the distance in price on, on the swing. These divisions, by the way, 1 8th, 2 8 3 8 4 8 we divide the swing into eight increments. And half the distance is the most important division of the swing. So the fact that we rallied to this as we completed an important GAN cycle, 180 solar degrees, is a point at which the market is in balance. Now you might say, well, what does that mean in balance? Well, GAN believed time and price were uh, intricately related. Um, and when markets are in balance, they change trend. Uh, it's basically the opposite of what you were taught in grad school. You were taught, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you were taught that markets are rarely in balance. Um, basically, you cannot predict the market. It's random. It's like markets move up and down for no reason at all, or the, the most recently available information will already be priced in before you have a chance to trade it. That's because markets are efficient. Therefore, um, you cannot beat the market. You might as well buy an ETF or an index fund. That's what they're telling you. Well, that's a lot of bogus. Uh, the reality is you do know there is a geometry of the market. It, it, the markets are not random. And this is something that is a mythology that's put out. Um, you know, by business schools, they want you to believe the market is random. 
They want you to invest and buy for the long term and just let your money sit there and rot. And, you know, hopefully you win over time. Um, and if you're lucky, like Warren Buffett, over the course of a long career, you make a lot of money. But a lot of people tend to get in and out at the exact wrong moment because they have a, a financial need. They cannot stay in the market for decades like Warren Buffett. So, you know, that whole mythology is wrong. It just doesn't work. And we're at a, a turning point in time here, um, not just for corn, which I just showed you, but for the finan financial markets in general. The reality is people are beginning to realize they're conned. You know, the fundamentalists, I call them fundamentalists, um, these are people who put out all various stories. They say, well, corn might go up because, well, it's raining more and, and the crops are going to be better. And, oh, the South American crop looks like it. they had some problems with climate change. So, oh, I think corn is going to go up. I don't know. You know, they're going to make up stuff and throw it against the wall and see what sticks. And if it sticks, they'll use it again in our next report. The reality is there is no science to what they're doing. All they're doing is taking this fundamental, that fundamental, and throwing it against the wall and seeing if you buy it. If you do, then they'll throw it against the wall again. Uh, but the reality is they're not giving you a clear answer. You read their reports. You see that, oh, is this guy telling me to buy or is he telling me to sell? I don't really know. You don't be surprised when you read a fundamental report. By the end of it, you won't know which way the, the author is thinking. You know, is he telling you to buy? No, he's just covering, you know, CYA. He's covering his ass. That's all he's doing. He wants to keep his job on Wall Street. So he's never going to give you a clear answer. He doesn't want to get nailed. He just wants to throw out a lot of information and hope that he keeps his job. Well, with GAN, we don't do that. What we do is we tell you exactly what we think. Now, granted, we could be wrong, but at least you know what to do. In this case, like I said, 575 is resistance. If it closes above it, it'll keep going. But you know our view is that it's probably going to go down because 180 solar degrees low to high is a huge uh, cycle. And the fact that you're meeting with this resistance at a 50% retracement, that's an important price resistance. So you know right there, it's very simple, it's very straightforward. There is no, nothing complicated about it. Now, we do have a lot more charts. We can tell you how far it's likely to go down. Uh, we can get into more detail in our daily reports. But for today, I just wanted to show you a very simple example how GAN works, and you can follow this over the next few days, the next few weeks, and see what happens to corn. If we're right, it's likely to go down. It's likely to start a near-term correction. Um, but the reality is um, you have a clear answer. You know what our view is. Um, not to say that we're right every time. Plenty of times we're wrong. But in our daily reports, we always tell you where you need to cover. If you do go short corn, you need to know that if you get above 575.62, this thing is likely to continue. You should not be short this market. Now, if it sells off to a certain level uh, by a certain time, which we detail in our daily report, then you'll know that, hey, it's likely to form a low and maybe you want to buy again. So. It's very simple, very straightforward. There's no mumbo jumbo. We don't talk about, oh, well, the crop looks like it's going to be uh, bigger in South America. Therefore, corn prices are going to go down. There's too much corn, blah, blah, blah. Oh, climate change might be a problem. Oh, you know, the stuff they make up, it just boggles the mind. You know, it's not that it's false. It's just that they're pretending that they're giving you something accurate with that information. They're not. They're not giving you anything accurate. All they're doing is throwing stuff against the wall to see what sticks. Now, if you're tired of that, maybe you ought to try GAN. Maybe you ought to check it out and see 
if what I'm saying is true. Now, remember, a fundamentalist, the thing, what they'll do is they'll say this is all, you know, mumbo jump. They actually say that I'm talking mumbo jumbo. When I'm talking about geometry of the markets, science, they're talking about opinion. We're talking about science. Which one do you want? Uh, your choice, time and price, there is a natural point of balance in any market between time and price where the market can change trend. It's very simple. It's mathematics. It's straightforward. It's not subjective. Fundamentalism is subjective. It is totally subjective. And the funny part is that they will accuse chartists of being subjective. When in fact, it's kind of like projection. When you know your own weak point, you project it onto your enemy and make it look like he's the one that's subjective. When in fact, it's the fundamentalists who are subjective. I think this is extremely fascinating. They've gotten away with the con job of the millennium. Fundamentalists are out there to con you, but they're going to tell you the opposite. They're going to say that the Chartist is the guy that's a con man, which I find fascinating. Um, but if you're, if you're a person that's scientifically oriented, if you like precision, you don't come to this market thinking, oh, well, this guy's going to offer me a perfect forecast every time. No. What you think is, He's going to tell me where support and resistance is. He's going to tell me where I get in, where I get out, when I get in, when I get out. And he's going to tell me where he's wrong. He's going to give me stop loss levels. He's going to tell me if you, if you close above 575.62, you should not be short this market. You should be long. He's going to tell me that if you sell off to a certain level, um, you should be covering your short and going long. So that's what you need in a report. You do not need all the mumbo jumbo about the weather. You know, this crop is going to be good. This is now, nah. you know, come on. It's not that that stuff is uninteresting. It's just that you're juggling so many balls in the air. By the time the report is finished 12 pages later, you know, do you know what his view is? You don't. You have no idea because he's just throwing stuff against the wall. Um, we don't do that. I want you to try it out and come to our website, www.ganalysis.net. Check it out. Check out some of the free reports. See for yourself if it works. And if you like it, uh, sign up for a three-month trial subscription. Good luck in your trading. Hope this helps.